beer. How do how do we feel about it? Nah, it's fucking bullshit. Beer. How do how do we feel about it? Nah, it's fucking bullshit. When VR came in, I think it's it's a good thing for same, all yeah. this. Same, same, same. Because all of us need an equal uh, decision. Like you can't make by the referee. Sometimes you know, the referee might, might be far away from the ball. Of course. So they cannot make their own decisions. But sometimes they ask the linesman for it. Mm -hmm. But linesman also sometimes they make wrong calls. It's like a 50-50 debatable thing. Mm -hmm. People like us around the football community, you know. For me, it was a. Uh, mm. Back years ago when Arsenal played Chelsea, I think oh, it was the 6-0 and Arsenal had a uh, Gibbs send-off. It was oh, supposed yeah. to be Chamberlain. That, that kind of issue as well, yeah. which is, it was ridiculous lah, when, I, when we saw the game. It was ridiculous. How do you send off the wrong player? Uh, and then after that, also Lampard's goal against uh, Germany, yeah. when we cross. This is why we need VR. But at the same time, VR is supposed to guarantee more accuracy. But now there's a lot of controversy because Arsenal against Palace, City against Liverpool was debatable, and many other incidents are uh, very, very questionable. Uh, yeah. I think about stupid, I say. When we take a look at the Man City versus Liverpool game, mm. remember during the trends, I say it was a handball. Mm. Yeah. Do you guys think so? Totally oh, agree, because okay. um, you see, there's one match against, uh, I, I forgot what team was against Spurs. Spurs. Uh, the ball hit Sissoko's up. close to the shoulder okay, yeah, yeah. and they, they didn't call it a handball no? Is it a Champions League final or...? Uh, I can't recall uh, to be honest When I look back at uh, Trent's one mm. it's mm. clearly um, a handball first yeah. it hits around the forearm okay. and and then um, Michael Oliver didn't make a call mm -hmm. he didn't even ask for VR clarification, VR clar mm. clarification. but I understand la, that some uh, people might say you know, he's a Liverpool fan he wants mm -hmm. Liverpool to win. I'm not, I'm not saying that Liverpool uh, paid money to all my Oliver, that's a bit. Yeah, that's a bit uh, far-fetched. Yeah, far-fetched. Looking, looking back at the match and the highlights, it's just... It's too... Uh, I feel very emotional about it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't play well. Um, and the referee screwed you yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, the first goal, I have to give some uh, credit as well. credits to them. Because they really... Yeah. Fabinho shot is just good goal, really, yeah. It's a good goal. It's rocket. Yeah. I didn't even yeah. expect it. Yeah. It's, just, it's just nice. So what will you think? What what would be the changes you want to make to VAR if you can make any changes? What will you do? VAR has been looking at the hands. Okay. Okay, like what you talk about previously. Uh, what you said. Uh, uh, like like the crouch. He said that if VAR was still on back in these days, like um the. He wouldn't have scored half of the goals. Yeah, he has scored. Yeah, yeah. This is true. I think we should let like you know the bedroom stuff of the bar. I think we should let like ex-professional players so they understand the knowledge of football better. Mm -hmm. So like having like the bedroom stuff of bar, like some of them maybe don't know the knowledge of football. So having like more ex-professional players to like. No, we should bring back. Like, no, we should bring back Mark Clattenburg. <laughs> because he's the one of the best referees in Premier League last time. He was like better than. Mike Dean. Mike Dean. Nah, Mike Dean's a joke. I think he's in Saudi Arabia now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was balding, I think, the last picture I saw. Was balding. Uh. For EPL, when you think about the handling of it, it's okay, but have you seen the pictures, the surface online? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. VR, you know, they are checking out cars or yeah, yeah, yeah. using it to charge their phones or something like that. It's quite ridiculous, but when you think about the basis of VR in the Premier League, they did say they will only check for red card offences. Uh, handballs and they'll check every goal and offside and stuff but you feel sometimes I feel that they check for offsides too much That's true. you know what I mean like everything is offside offside when it's very rare to see a goal chopped off it's more of like oh offside you know this the marginal arm in front is offside that kind of idea I'm not saying offside spoils the game but I think that they are mostly sometimes the calls they are made spoils the 
the game. momentum of the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The yeah, atmosphere really where, does, where, really does, really where the fans are like, you know, when we are really cheering for a goal, suddenly we stand up, but then, you know. I was watching the game, mm. uh, the City one. So when Liverpool scored, uh, all of them were standing up, they were celebrating. Then when the, they said, oh, VR is checking, oh, everyone is a bit, it's a bit tense. You're like thinking, is it a goal? Do you want to celebrate? Do you. Oh, of course, actually, I thought it was better than the start of the season when people were like, hey, it's going to ruin the atmosphere. Actually, just now, or that day, actually. The atmosphere was still okay. Like it wasn't that after that people were still celebrated when the VR was not uh, didn't give it off its goal or the referee didn't have it. They were still given the the atmosphere was still there. Yeah. It was still there. It was very very strong. Mm-hmm.